Hi, I'm Chef Keith Snow. Today I'm going to show you how to make ceviche, which is one of my favorite dishes, and it's what you would consider raw fish, although it's cooked with acid. We'll get into that in a minute. The word ceviche is very closely, closely resembles escabiche, which is a method of cooking usually fish with onions and vinegar. It's definitely a Latin thing. Now the word ceviche and the dish ceviche originated in Peru and it's since spread all the way through Latin America, very prevalent in Costa Rica, in Peru obviously, in Mexico along the beaches, uh, on the west coast and also in the Caribbean and the Yucatan Peninsula and in Cuba. And what's cool about ceviche is it's raw fish but it's cooked or you could say pickled using citrus juice. And we have quite a bit of citrus juice and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a few minutes. Now this is a very light and refreshing way to enjoy seafood. And this particular one we're going to do has peeled and deveined shrimp. We have bay scallops and a beautiful piece of red snapper. Now the type of fish that you use can differ. You don't need to use shrimp, you don't need to use scallops or snapper. You could use tuna, you could use clams, oysters. They make ceviche out of a lot of different things. In Mexico, marlin is very popular. They, make sh they use uh, shark as well. So the type of seafood um, is really up to you, but the key is that it has to be perfectly fresh. This seafood was all bought at my local Whole Foods market. It's very fresh. These shrimp are particularly important because they come from South Carolina waters. They're local shrimp and they're wild caught and that's very important. You have to be very careful that when you buy shrimp, particularly if it's frozen, read the label. Oftentimes it comes way from the other side of the world and it's farm raised. I never eat any farm raised seafood and that includes salmon. I prefer wild uh, at all costs. So the key here is very fresh ingredients. Now ceviche, when we make it in the restaurants, oftentimes it will marinate or cook in, this, in the citrus juice overnight. I know a lot of you are very busy, so I'm going to show you today how you can get the same flavor but make it a lot quicker by quickly um, dropping these in boiling water. So we're going to go over to the stove right now and do that. But first, I want to show you something that's very important. If you look at these bay scallops, this is about the size of the chunks of seafood we want. You definitely don't want big pieces and little pieces because they will be cooked not evenly. So that's about the size we want. So the first thing we'll do is take the shrimp and we're just going to cut them maybe each twice. And important, I don't smell anything. If I smelled a lot of seafood, I knew, know that it's not very fresh. This stuff does not smell and that's very important. And here's our snapper, and I had the seafood monger at Whole Foods Market remove the skin for me. And this is a firm fleshed fish, and that's important. Something like uh, flounder or sole, that wouldn't work because it's too flaky. Okay, this seafood is properly cut up, and now we can go over to the stove and give it a quick poach. So for those of you that don't have 24 hours to let this marinate, this is the quick and easy way to do it, but I promise you, you'll still get all the great ceviche flavor you want. So here, I have some boiling water. There's no salt in it, that's very important, just plain boiling water. So we're gonna scoop everything in at once. The scallops, and then we'll take the rest of our seafood, and get it in that water. Move it around. Now this is going to take discipline because you don't want to cook this for more than 30 seconds. I'm going to remove it in just a few seconds, probably right when it comes back to a boil. If you leave it in there for five minutes, you're going to overcook the fish and not have the sort of delicate flavor that you want. Here is a bowl of ice water. And this is just called an ice bath, very, very cold. So now we'll stir this through one more second and that is it. So now we'll scoop it out and drop it in our ice bath and what that's going to do is immediately stop the cooking process. Okay, this is nice and cool now. We're going to go back over to our board and make ceviche. 
So now on to assembly. We've got a lot of ingredients here. The first two I'm showing you are zest. That's just the rind off of lemon and lime. And a quick tip, I'll show you how to do that. So we take our, in this case, lime. And this is a rasp. You can get these at just about any cooking store. They work very well for this. And when you're taking off the zest, it's kind of just a little quick motion. And it's collecting in the back of here so I can get it off later. But the key, as you can see how that's starting to get white, if you get down too far into what they call the pith, the white part's very bitter. So you only want to zest off the outside. And this zest, people don't cook with zest enough, but it's very flavorful. It actually has more flavor than the juice. So you can use it in sauces. You'll see how we use it in this ceviche. Lots of uses for the citrus zest. You can bake with it. So it's really good stuff. So you can get quite a bit of zest off of one um, piece of fruit. You can see all that zest and now we'll just drop it right in here. And that is more than enough for this recipe. So we are going to cut this in half and extract the juice using one of these things and most cooking stores have them. They're pretty cool. Just drop it in there. This is a bowl with already some lime juice. So you just squeeze and hopefully it doesn't get all over me and comes out. Working just fine. These are very juicy limes, which is great. So take that off and then we'll do a lemon. This is a big lemon. Same thing, you can get the zest right off a lemon and orange for that matter. So we'll put that in our little juicer and squeeze. So that's how you get juice and zest out. Now to start this process here, our fish, our seafood I should say, is all in here and it's very cold, that's important. We're gonna take a little bit of citrus zest, probably about one, table, one teaspoon of the lime, likewise with the lemon. And then we're gonna take all of this lemon juice and remember, this is what essentially is cooking or pickling the fish. And here is quite a bit of lime juice. We don't need it all, but we'll pour that in there. Here is some finely minced shallot. You could use red onion as well. Some ceviche recipes that you see will call for celery. I uh, don't care for the celery in it, so I omit it. This is some hot sauce. We're gonna add about one teaspoon of very hot sauce in there. And then here is some cilantro, which I will just quickly slice for you. And cilantro is one of those herbs, you don't want to cut it up too much because it will bruise. So we're just gonna roll it into a little ball, take our knife, twist it, and that's it. And those are big pieces and that's exactly what I want. So we'll drop that in there. And then here is a jalapeno pepper. I grew this in my own garden. It's optional if you want it. Not to be so spicy, I would leave this out. We'll take our little knife here. And I'm gonna just make some slices in this and just get a little bit of the tip. You can see the gorgeous color inside this jalapeno. So we'll scrape all of this up because it's all good stuff. Goes right in. And the last ingredient is tomato and avocado, but I'm not gonna put those in now. I'm gonna put those in right before presentation. We don't want these to sit too long in that citrus juice because they'll really break down. So now all we have to do is give this a good stir because we want that acid from the citrus and all these ingredients to be fully incorporated. And I am gonna use the rest of this lime juice. And you can see I'm not putting any salt in here. We'll do that later. And one thing to note, this container is what you would see in cookbooks or you may watch on a cooking show, non-reactive. And that's important. If you use something like cast iron or other metals, the acid can react and pull flavors from the pot or the pan into your seafood. You definitely don't want to do that. So enameled cast iron, stainless steel works as well, or this is just a ceramic dish and this is the best. The other thing to note is it's very upright, so the seafood 
has a better chance of being in contact with the acid. If you put it in a flat pan, everything would spread out and you wouldn't have the same effect. So make sure this is well combined like this. Put it in a refrigerator for say three hours and we'll show you how to assemble it. So our ceviche is out of the refrigerator, very cold, and as you can see, it is cooked or pickled. The acid has done its job and it smells wonderful, very citrusy and perfect. But before we can plate it up, we need to dice this avocado. So a quick tip for doing this is, first of all, you have to buy the right avocado. To me, try to buy an organic avocado as, as often as possible and get the pebbly skinned Haas avocado and make sure that it's ripe. Just by pushing down with your finger, it should yield a little bit. Now I know you're gonna see a lot of chefs on TV that talk about holding it in your hand and slicing around that. I really don't recommend that because um, somebody at home that may not have great knife skills could cut themselves. So I prefer to leave it on the board. You wanna take a sharp knife right on the side. Slowly you're gonna cut in until you hit the pit. See that? The knife has hit the pit. Now you're just going to kind of turn the avocado against the knife, leaving the knife relatively straight. And then it will open up just like that. It's very simple to remove the seed. This one is so ripe that the seed will actually just fall right out. So now from this point, we take a nice spoon. We're going to reach in there and hopefully get it out in, in one piece. There you go, set that aside. Now you wanna dice this up a bit, and it is just butter, perfectly ripe, beautiful, like butter. Turn it, try to get about maybe half inch little dices. And now we'll leave that there. I'll clean my hands and we'll start to assemble our dish. We're gonna use kind of a cutesy glass like this. We'll take our ceviche, and we'll pile it up, making sure that we get a little of everything in there. And this is absolutely perfect for the summer because it's very light. I would definitely, no chance would I drink wine with this, I would absolutely drink a beer with this. So pile it up pretty high. And now you wanna take a few pieces of your avocado and just kind of spread them out a little bit on here. You don't have to put in the avocado, but I think it's a nice touch. Then also here we've got a little bit of chopped tomato. And we'll just put a few pieces of that chopped tomato on there. Just like that. And now right here, I made my own tortilla chips. And you could use store-bought ones, I guess, but what I did was take just those plain little round six-inch corn tortillas, I cut them into quarters, and we fried them nice and crispy like that. It makes a much better chip. So we will just take some of these, stick it down in the bowl like that. And then I'll take a little lime. This is gonna let people know that you've got quite a bit of lime in there. And that's it, that's a gorgeous ceviche. I think you'll love this dish. It's got a great, nice tropical, very beautiful citrusy flavor. And if you'll allow me, I'll actually give it a little taste here. Mmm, it's perfect. Looks pretty too, huh? Check it out. To see more tips, techniques, and videos, visit HarvestEating.com. Four seasons, one lifestyle.